Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2 where today we will be covering the mini islands in a tour video. That is right, the park that we have built over the last two weeks in live streams, we are finally going to be touring it today. And I just want to say guys like Thank you to all of the um, support that you guys gave on the live stream and such. For those who were there, giving me some ideas as well. It was a blast and I'm so excited to see what we do for future parks and stuff. Whatever they may be. And I just want to say, like, this was one of my favorite parks that I've done in a long time. For both Jurassic World Evolution 2 and even Jurassic World Evolution 1. The fact that, like, we actually got to do this was like amazing after so much like struggles for me to like get it all set up it finally happened and we got a lovely live streams out of it but i think with that little intro out of the way let's get ready to begin but before we continue this tour guys i just wish to announce what the dinosaur was in this image that i posted in the last video and also where it is and for those who did successfully guess correct the dinosaur is indeed the fierce and untamable queen herself or misa nublar the indominus rex which if you look in the right side of the screen right in the little gap between certain trees and the bushes on in the front of the screen Screen, you'll actually see just the tip of her head just peeking over the rocks that are in the far far background yes it is quite a tricky one I must say but that is the point of these challenges to see who has the predators eye inside and also if they could identify but thank you for all of your guesses and uh, we will s do it in the next video again this time with something different so Catch you then, but now, let's get back to the tour video, shall we? Now that we are here at the in entrance to our park, p please welcome to um, the mini islands. Thank you for coming, guests and spectators. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for um, cooperating at the entrance, showing all of your safety protocols were in place. And now we shall begin. Remember, no photos here because this is Dr. Wu's facility at the moment we are currently in. And I don't think he would appreciate us, um, you know, taking photos of his secret work. But now let's get moving. Which, we're just gonna go by here. Yeah, this is basically where we make all the dinosaurs and all that. And hopefully I can cut through around this way. Now please um, pardon the um, crowded guests, this area is usually crowded when arriving since we get loads of guests despite the um, massive um, walking that many do, yet we do get complaints. So if you're lazy, please do not um, join us on this ride, we do not want you complaining. But I'm going to take you through at the moment, and first up we will we'll take the... Um, walking tour first and then afterwards we will return and take the tour ride so that way you can see what you may miss on this ride and we have four isle mini islands for you guys to um, witness with the first one here being the mountainous and swampy island courtesy of the suggestions from from two live stream um, watchers they will be properly thanked for all of their contributions. And if you wonder which dinosaurs are on which side... Oh boy, we just phased through that person. I'm sorry. Um, if you get a sickness of uh, phasing through someone, that's uh, not out of my pocket. I'm just the tour guide for you guys. But as you just heard a moment ago, you heard the roar of our Jurassic Predator, the Allosaurus, which, if... You may manage to catch a glimpse if he comes over, but we have a pair of Allosauruses that adorn the mountainous section of this island, along with a large pack of Pyroraptors, which we may catch a glimpse of them. However, on the other side here are a few species, such as, if you can see over here, a couple of Edmontosauruses, courtesy of Edmonton Fossil Groups, have made us able to introduce them to the park. But not only do we have Edmontosauruses adorning our swamp, there are many other creatures, including our apex of this island, the Acrocanthosaurus himself, and also two other predators, 
t a pair of Scorpius Rex and also a pack of Baryonyx, led by yours truly, Jim. But we'll just continue. Ooh, maybe with this drop we'll be able to see a few Pyraptors. Yes, as you can see there, there are some right there at the moment. A blue one and a sandy one. I believe that is a great sandy desert. Also, if you um, glimpse at the beaches over there, you may catch a glimpse of our final island with some dinosaurs there. And you can also see a few Pyraptors on the edges here as well. And you get, of course, this gives you a beautiful sneak peek at our final island, which is fully covered with dinosaurs. And as you can see, if we get close over here, another Pyroraptor is here. Such a beautiful specimen we have here. Though, I would be careful, as they are very clever and very dangerous, including with an ability to slightly glide off the ground, if need be. But... Uh, more on the swamp section as well. We may be able to catch a glimpse of something other than the Edmontosaurus. I did catch a tail of a Scorpius Rex just a second ago, but maybe it's in too deep of jungle. But we'll just keep on moving. I just heard another Allosaurus. Oh, yes, as you can see, we got some other Pyroraptors as well. There are a lot of Pyroraptors. Oh, and there is the apex of this side of the Jurassic Allosaurus. With its adult form here, both of our Allosauruses are indeed adults, and they are quite lovely, I must say. But they should be careful, because even though they are some of the most dangerous dinosaurs on this little island, they do have to worry about a few other carnivores, such as the Scorpius Rex and Baryonyx that you see right there. I believe that was um, the Camp Cretaceous skin, and also I believe that is a greenish-blue Baryonyx there, which may be Jim, maybe another one, I'm not sure. Ooh, yes, and actually you can also see our Acrocanthosaurus there, and both Scorpius Rexes are here. Very nice, very nice. And there is our Acro. Maybe we can um, get closer. But he is walking away, and we only can move at, like, two speed. Oh, no, we can run. We can run, folks. Pick up the pace. Get your photos, get your photos. But also keep them off flash, please. We do not want to disturb these animals in their natural habitat that they have called home. And that is the first island, the mountainous swamps. Hope you enjoyed. Now we'll be going to one with a little more um, guest amenities, so if you need to stop for a washroom break or something like that, please do so soon. But at the moment, we are going across from the mountainous island into our sanctuary island, which is fully adorned with many, many species, such as the apex of Biosyn, the Giganotosaurus, also a natural rival of the Giganotosaurus from Biosyn. We also have a pair of Therizinosaurus. However, neither are blind like the one that killed Biosyn's main Giga, so while you may think that makes you safer now that it's calmer, Therizinosaurus is quite territorial, and you may also notice ahead the um, body of a Dreadnoughtus, which we have quite a few of those titans here. While their name means fear nothing, I can assure you that the Giga will not hesitate to take a bite out of them if they dare pose a fair meal. But, due to their size, it will be a tough challenge regardless, especially since it is only one giga we have in this park. Now please take your photos of my dreadnoughtuses, but please remember, no flashing, and if you want a higher um, view, you can see that she is ready for her close-up in the viewing tower. Though, again, she's also phasing through, so she's not entirely thrilled. But also we have other things such as an iguanodon over there I just saw walking by. We also have a few smaller species on this mini island, including Homalocephale, and some Compsognathus, and even some Dilophosaurus, which, please be careful, they are still able to spit venom at you. But, if we go around, I can, I can hear the Giga, but I can't see him. He might be on the other side, because I'm hearing it from my right side. And also here is another one of the Dreadnoughtuses, a beautiful, beautiful titan. Also, there's another one who's on a mission, I believe. 
Ooh. And as you can hear, you can hear the cries of the Dilophosaurus. But they are not true cries, for they are the sounds that you should fear. But also you should fear about getting stepped on, because these Dreadnoughtus, despite the invisible fence system designed to keep you safe, sometimes they do manage to slip through. This is a weakness that we have not yet been able to figure out. Also, I just heard a Giga, which means we may be close. And also, as you can see there, if we um sprint there, there be a Dilophosaurus, and also there be Stiggy Molox on this island, though it's very unlikely we will get to see one of them, but maybe perhaps we can actually get a view in here. Also, there is a Dinosaur Threat, which is the tour is down but that is okay and as you can see there be one of our therizinosaurus which is our green therizinosaurus we i call him mossy though he doesn't have an official name yet his other one is named chronos which is a name from my sister hope you guys enjoy these but please be warned these therizinosaurus are just as dangerous if not more dangerous than anything else on this park because, and not just this island, folks, this thing is able to kill Apexes with rather ease with these Freddy Krueger claws. So please, treat it with respect, for even a herbivore can be even more dangerous. But, as you can see, and speaking of dangerous herbivores that are clearly underestimated, a group of sticky Molochs are... Um, giving us a lovely view of themselves, but you must remember the first dinosaur that escaped during the events of 2018 was in fact one sticky Moloch before the rest of them managed to escape themselves. So we should definitely treat them with respect, especially when there's about 20 of them on this little mini island. But Moving on, we'll head around. Oh, and there be a, one of the Iguanodons, which we have a large herd of them as well. I hope you guys enjoy Iguanodons, as they are quite a calm, but also, again, dangerous species. Especially with their thumb spikes that can do some serious damage to any carnivore they get their hands around. They'll give them a bear hug of death, as we like to say. But, viewing from here, can we see any other dinosaurs, perhaps? Maybe not. Probably there's some compies running around, but because of the tall grass, we won't be able to see them too much. Also, it appears that our tour ride is seriously um, getting damaged, probably from one of our apex carnivores. Ooh, there be a Dilophosaurus that just went by the um, viewing tower, which maybe later we'll be able to give you guys a tour of, but for now, we'll just keep on moving. And if we go around, we would loop back here, but if you wish to um, get some amenities, all you would have to do is come into the center area and you can get some food, you can get some drinks, some clothing to enjoy your stay. And of course, in case of an emergency, here would be the Biosyn shelter, as Biosyn is partially sponsoring this after their incident. But now we must move on back around and we will be taking the zip line to the next island. We're going to take a little bit of a detour on this one. And now we leave this island, which as you can see, you see it quite a lot. And we are heading to our more arid jungle um, park. More of a rough side of the island we're heading at right now. Much more open and difficult for a lot of our predators. But one of our predators that adorns this island this mini island, is the Carnotauruses. We have three of them here at the moment. We have Coco, who is the leader, and of course is a demon Carno, and is our main Carnotaurus for the channel of Rexy's Gaming Bro. But with this environment, it provides him with much ease in hunting prey that he needs to, as instead of having to maneuver from ju through jungle on the other side, here he's able to hunt down some of these creatures with much ease, especially because he gets to use his main technique, which is his speed. But moving on, as you can also see, we have a group of Gigantospinosauruses, which, despite their name, they're actually quite small in considering to dinosaurs. But then again, most dinosaurs were in fact small. And also, since we're here, we can take a look at one of the viewing domes, 
and we can see if we can spot anything here. Which we do, a few over there, which are making their way towards the jungle section, actually. But also here we have our um, hotel reservation as well. This is one of our more luxurious islands for, for you guys to enjoy your stays. We have two hotels here, and we have, again, more um, customer services if required, and even, of course, a bathroom pit stop. Which, of course, all the restaurants do have them as well, but, you know, same old. Now, if you please follow me, we are going to take a shortcut again and take the zip line, which hopefully we'll be able to catch um, some species in the river, such as an Australovenator, as you can see right uh, there. You can see a one that just ran by as well, including that one there. And maybe we'll even catch the viewing log, which maybe we'll be able to see one of the other species, perhaps? But that is to be determined. But if we take a look in here, we probably won't see anything from this one, as many of the dinosaurs usually don't come up here. They usually like to keep themselves close to the river, especially the carnivores in terms of preparing an ambush, especially our Carnotaurus pair. They love to use the river as a resource. Also, forgive the lack of plants at the moment. We are planning on putting some new planters here, and hopefully you guys will get to enjoy them. But now we shall take another zipline ride, which will take us across to the next section. And as you can see there is what our apex of this island, the Carcharodontosaurus, which actually shows that we're going for a bit of a theme with our apexes, as many of them are part of the Carcharodontosaurus line including Allosaurus, which it branches off from them. Carnotaurus comes from the Abelosaur family, of course, but the primary massive apexes are only from the Carcharodontosaurids, such as Giganotosaurus, Acrocanthosaurus, and of course, Carcar himself. And as you can see here, we are in the much more um, tropical, overgrown nature vibe. Trees are willing to grow here. We usually trim them down to so they don't completely overwhelm our guests, but it's primarily this section is meant to be you are part of the forest. We do not build into around it, we do not destroy it for our own needs. We build what we need and then we let nature take the rest. And as you can see we are in the classic um, Tyrannosaurus Rex viewing log, formerly used in Jurassic World, but remodified here for guests on our third island which also, as you can see there, are some Australovenators and also some Iguanodons from the other island, actually, which gives you a nice view, so you'll be able to catch a glimpse of other islands, which is one feature we hope to allow you guys to do for each island, in fact. We want to make sure you get as much viewing possibilities as possible on this island. And, of course, there is a get guest facility there, if need be, and also, a, for any of you science geeks out there, we have a little special area where Dr. Henry Wu is free to give um, lectures for you at certain times. Please contact your officials if you wish to schedule appointments. Now, watch your step as it is quite steep down here, but also again, another hotel reservation here, which gives you another lovely view of the little stream that connects to the ocean for this mini island section. Also gives you a view of the f previous area that we were at. So if you want to get a lovely photo of um, your sister or cousin screaming their lungs out when they're taking a view down one of the zip lines, you'll be able to, even on one that connects there. So if your cousin's way behind, or your sister even, which, let me tell you, happened to me a few times, you'll be able to scream bloody murder. But now moving back on, we'll be heading up actually. This leads to our security bunker for this island, which is mainly for emergency. <laughs> 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 
my apologies, ladies and gentlemen, but it seems that I have made a mistake, which we're testing out this new tour ride, but my um, manager reminded me that the fourth and final island is actually not accessible on foot, which is why we will be taking this um, Jurassic Park tour ride based on the original Ford Explorers from Jurassic Park itself. As John Hammond would say, we spared no expense, but also it seems that my um, car was um, suddenly dying there. So, oh, 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 God, sorry if you, sorry guys, I haven't got my full license, so if uh, you get a uh, motion sick, uh, don't blame me, I'm just the tour guy. But also, the camera is for some reason not working in this viewing area, which is kind of annoying. Also, you may see that we have some flyers, actually, as we implemented them just when we completed the final stages for the islands, which probably is what's causing the rampage, as they've actually managed to successfully fly off to the other islands. And people are probably not listening to that flash photography rule that I have stated multiple times, which means they're probably attracting their attention, as pterosaurs often like to um, track down um, flyer, um, not flyers, sorry. They like to um, see what they can find with um, regards to the um, flash photography. And usually what they find is sometimes a good piece of breakfast for them to share with the idiot who decided not to behave. But, as you can see, we have a lovely Barbodactylus gliding around here ever so lowly. And Barbodactylus is actually one of our calmer pterosaurs that we've implemented here. We also have a group of Dimorphodons. And also we must be careful as um, many of the um, people probably honked at the um, vehicles. But, if you can hear that, um, roar, you may hear one of our premium dinosaurs that is located in the desert, um, island, with the oasis just below us. You may have just heard the call of one of our Metricanthosaurus, which is quite interesting, if you ask me. Now, is that... Okay, so apparently we cannot, um, drive the car while in the second camera. But, in this map we have loads of species, including a Metricanthosaurus right there. And if I back up, actually, we're actually gonna take a little off-road. Usually these guys need to stay on the track to be powered, but this one is especially added. But as you can see, we also have, um, a non-dinosaur species here for land. This being the Dimetrodon, a lovely sp specimen with quite an attitude to those who dare honk, which is why that this group right here is probably smashing all these drivers, because these people are clearly honking at them and disrupting their um, time off. But also, as you can see there, we have a pack of Ceratosauruses walking along the beach, along with a few other species such as Dryosauruses, Nasutoceratops, and if we are lucky, or actually, more unlucky, a pack of Atrociraptors, which in fact we are unlucky because I can see t a few of them dead ahead, and they are quite aggressive, much more dangerous than the cunning Velociraptors, surprisingly so, actually. But we also are protected by a massive herd of Nasutoceratops, which, of all Ceratopsians, are one of the more calm species, but don't don't be um, feeling cocky, because these guys can turn on us in a moment's notice. If we decide, uh, such as uh, that guy who's um, getting annoyed that we cut him off, which I apologize, Nasutoceratops. But we shall make our way around, and then we'll continue the tour on the um, other map so you get a different aspect of um, the tour. And also, as you can see, there is a massive duck known as Dinocaris, um, alongside the group of Dryosaurus, which tend to stay around him for safety, as Dinocaris is actually, like Therizinosaurus, one of our more dangerous herbivores. They can look calm and beautiful all you like, but they have uh, quite the attitude if they want. But the Dryosauruses and them have a symbiotic relationship. The Dryosauruses um, give them alerts if need be, and the Dinocaris basically is the thing that none of these carnivores are willing to stand up against, except maybe the Atrociraptors. But then again, there's a nice um, symbiosis between all the species here, as they are actually comfortable with each other to a certain point. But say if a carnivore decides to start hunting, 
they will get very aggressive. Also, we have to swerve, bet swerve between them, otherwise we're going to get run over, because also, they decide to stampede. We're screwed, ladies and gentlemen, but you guys all paid the insurance. Oh, God. You guys all paid the insurance. I'm not paying for this. Anyway, let's uh, turn around. Hope you enjoyed the, um, technically the final island, but since we're taking the tour all the way around, we'll be um, getting an another view. Now we just have to worry about the Carcharodontosaurus on this island, as well as the Carnotaurus and Australovenator. But usually we're able to outmaneuver them. But then again, the Carcharodontosaurus usually likes to play with cars in this section, so don't be surprised if suddenly we get rammed from the side. He's going to use his Velociraptor technique. The attack comes from the side, after all. But we may even catch a glimpse of one of these predators or prey items just having a nice, beautiful drink in the little stream here, which is quite lovely. And you may think, since it connects to the ocean, that it actually should be salt water. No, in fact, since this is an artificial island, not a natural island, as we are in fact on Isla Nublar, but this section of the island we've turned into mini islands to give you guys themes of dinosaurs in different environments. We have actually made this entirely fresh water, so if we really wished, we could even put our Mos a Mosasaurus or some other aquatic reptile in this little mini ocean, because it is fully fresh. Though we keep the dinosaurs isolated from most of it, oh boy, we're having a little bit of a hop, skip, and a jump here while we're trying to get up. Uh, oh, watch the dip. Thank you. And again, if you wish to make a quick pit stop here, I'll give you two seconds. All right, that's it. Show's over. Let's go. Yeah, usually I don't like to give you guys too much time on that, because I kind of want to get go home and have a nice cup of coffee after. Although, my manager, Rex Gaming Bro, is not a fan of coffee. He prefers hot cocoa, which Coco the Carnotaurus seems to agree, as, he, as the last person he killed actually had cocoa, and he actually stole it. And also, speaking of which, you can actually catch a glimpse of Coco now, including one of the other Carnotauruses, which... I can't tell which one that is, but I know it has a special name. But, depending on which one it is, we wouldn't have to worry. Actually, in fact, I think there's all three of them. But, we will leave them alone, as we don't want them chasing. As they can outrun pretty much all of our vehicles that we have here. At least on open terrain. But, we shall keep moving through here. And so- Oh god, jeez, this- This vehicle is really bad for- I'm um, going around terrain. Oh, look, we have some Gigantospinosauruses right by us. They may be smaller than this car, but they actually ca have quite a wallop with those tails. So we're just going to let them pass by, and we'll leave them be. And hopefully, oh, we're going to have to go round a few since one is sleeping on here. Please do not touch the horn, ladies and gentlemen. Otherwise, I'm throwing you out of the car, and Carnotaurus is going to get a early lunch. You may think it's cruel, but no, it's cruel to bother the dinosaurs that humbly give their time to be bothered and pestered by all of us. I, uh, I'm not the hugest fan of making these parks myself, but I do it just so I can have them protected from people who, you know, would want to kill them. But also we have to watch out for them as well, because they are quite dangerous too. And we, as we nearly just got rampaged by a, a an iguanodon. But, perhaps now on the tour ride, we may catch a glimpse of the Giganotosaurus here. But, no, we're getting a look at some more Iguandons and, uh, one of the Dreadnoughtus on this side of the island, which, not bad, not bad. Also, I think that'd be, um, a Stiggy Moloch there as well. And I hear a Dilophosaurus up ahead. Oh, actually, no, we see two of them in a mating ritual at the moment. We'll just leave them be, let the man and woman have, you know, their time, you know. You, you wouldn't like it if they interrupted you guys. And I know who you, and you know who I'm talking to, Larry. Couldn't, you have to do that while you're at work. But anyway, uh, moving on, moving on, we're just gonna keep going, and, uh, looks like our tour ride is getting attacked again, and our Barbodactylus seem to be still going after some people. 
And it doesn't seem like we'll be catching a glimpse of our Giganotosaurus today on this tour, ladies and gentlemen. But remember, you can stop at the beginning and also stop at any of our little pit stops. And maybe you'll be able to catch a glimpse of them in your hotels, or even in the viewing towers, or vents, or so on. But remember, folks, this tour is only for those who just wish to have a quick time viewing. But, one last look before we go. Uh, is he on the outskirts of the island? No, but it looks like um something is. I can't tell what that... Oh no, it's, there's an Iguandon. He's coming to say goodbye to us. I think that one's name is Clarence. I could be wrong, though. Clarence... No, that's that's Jeffrey. Clarence is um a little bit green in the face. And also, as you can see there, there be some more carnivores, such as our Scorpius Rex. But here we shall go on to the final island and get our tour ride a going again. In fact, you can actually see some Barbadactylus perked on the rocky, rocky cliffs on the mountainside. And in fact, I think we're coming up to our Allosaurus pair right now, taking a lovely nap alongside a Pyroraptor. You may think the Pyroraptor would not wish to be caught sleeping next to these two, but no, they actually have a sort of symbiotic bond, these two species. They usually like to watch out for each other, as p food is quite plentiful on these islands, so they're willing to be kinder to each other. However, if we stopped feeding them, that friendship would possibly go by very quickly. Also, then again, this Allosaurus probably would, if he could, would ram our vehicle right now and take us for a nice afternoon snack. So we'll just leave them be, you know, we, we don't want to disturb them. We're in their home, we should respect them. And no littering, people, otherwise I'm throwing you to the Scorpius Rexes first. And we're just gonna carefully go around here. Watch your heads, please don't fool around in the back, damn kids. And we have reached the end of our vehicle tour, which I hope you all enjoyed the ride. I apologize for anyone who felt seriously threatened by me th saying I would throw you to some dinosaurs, but it's all in good faith that you guys won't break the rules during the rest of your stay here. And also, before I go, I will showcase this section at night, because it is actually quite beautiful, I must say. And there we go. A lovely display of colors and lights. And that way, when it's very dark outside, you'll be able to find your way. Also, I need to fix that. And there we go. A beautiful blue matching the other blues of these, of these Biosyn statues and fountains. And again, I wish to thank you all for joining us on Isla Nublar's Mini Islands for this, and I'm thank you for all the help on making these four islands. It was There were some struggles, there were some laughs, there were some cries, there were some wars going on in the comments, but all was resolved, and we made this amazing park, I must say. It is one of my favorites that I have done, not just for live streams, I mean... If we're talking live streams, the only one it has to beat is the challenge mode one, which I actually haven't done a tour for yet. So after this one, perhaps that might be the next one you guys get, but it'll probably still come after this one, just because I'm recording this one. So after I get my final stuff needed, you'll get to see that. And until the next tour, guys, I want to say hit the subscribe button to join the hunt if you want to help support this channel. And of course, leave a like if you did enjoy the video. It does help out very much. And if you want to see more, you, you know the drill. Say what you want and give me suggestions for live streams on what we do in our parks. Anyway, guys, be safe. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.